What's up everybody and welcome back to my channel and if you're new, welcome. My name is Demetra. In today's video, we are going to be playing with some new makeup from Rimmel. I was at the drugstore not too long ago and noticed that Rimmel had a new display of new items for lack of a better word. So I decided to pick up a couple of them. Um, it includes this beautiful little rainbow palette right here. This is part of their Magnify's, um, I guess, palette editions or whatever. There are three existing palettes. I do have a couple that I did not dig up for this video, but they are beautiful. The pigment in them is wonderful, and I'm really curious to see how this is going to hold up with a full day wear test. I also know I noticed that there was a new mascara, which I didn't pick up because I already have lots of mascaras that I'm working through right now, but there were these two items right here which really caught my attention. So the first one is this thing called the Wonder Ombre eyeliner. It's a holographic eyeliner. I got mine in the shade Galactic Green because I thought it looked so cool. But essentially it's a pencil that looks white but I think it's supposed to transform into a holographic green. I don't know. We're going to find out in just a second. Um, and then there's this right here called the Wonder Wing Felt Tip Eyeliner. Um, this is in the shade 001 Black and apparently this is like the vamp stamp. It's actually a wing stamp that you get to stamp on the outer corner of your eye and then you can draw in the rest of your liner with this little gadget right here. As you can see I only have my foundation on right now. I have left my eyes blank because I wanted to play around with these items here. Um, I'm going to actually start off with um, let's see. Let's open up this little ombre eyeliner first because I'm really curious to see what kind of color comes out. Oh, I see. There are two sides to it. Oh, one side seemed to be hidden or I just didn't notice it. Um, I'm going to take the holographic side first just to see what that looks like. Okay, I wouldn't call this holographic according to Christine's standards, but it is a nice sort of minty green almost. I wouldn't call the white end of this pencil holographic but it does look like a really nice sort of mint green color and then the other side is a very dark almost black green color. I'm assuming what you're supposed to do is layer on the two colors and it's supposed to look holographic which it doesn't really. <laughs> it just adds a bit of a greener, lighter tinge to it. So I don't know. I'm not I'm not digging this liner right now, but we'll play around with it a little bit. Let's move on to the eyeshadow palette. I'm going to go ahead and play around with this a little bit, create a look on my eyes, and then we're going to go in and try to do a little bit of liner. So I guess it's not going to be a full, full wear test of the full range of colors that you see here, but I will do some swatches for you. Um, I do want to keep a pretty simple look because I want this liner to show up as best as possible. All right, I'm going to grab my trusty old MAC 224 brush and since most of these colors are shimmers here, um, I'm not really noticing much of a transition color. Um, oh, I was going to go a little bit light, but I feel like this is going to be a pretty dark and smoky eye. Um, I'm going to go in with the first matte color that I see and it's this purple color right here. I'm going to take my brush very lightly, dab into it, tap off a little bit of the excess. And now I'm going to go in. Actually, let me, let me scooch in a little bit closer. There we go. And let's start applying this color. Hmm. Okay, so not a lot came off immediately, but we are going to build it up. Oh, there it is. That's a really pretty color. I have been digging these mauve tones for the last couple of months. I don't know what it is, but I feel like it just looks so good. And you can get a really effortless look. I really like that purple color. It blended out really nicely. It built up in color really nicely. Next, I'm going to go in with this really dark purple right at the end, and I'm going to use this to deepen the outer corner of my eye. Oh, wow. Whoa. 
Ooh, I did not expect it to be that dark. That looks amazing. Next, I'm gonna go in with this champagne color right over here. It's a nice metallic color. We are gonna apply this color all over the lid and it's pretty. This one's a little more subtle, but it's still beautiful. I'm gonna take this stark white sort of pearl shadow right over here and I'm gonna add that to the inner corners of my eyes. I wanna see if it's gonna have any brightness to it. Oh, okay, yes it does. Ooh, that shadow came to play. Now that we've completed the eye look with the eyeshadow palette, I'm gonna go in with this liner right here, and I'm gonna attempt to stamp a wing. Now, you guys know, I normally just prefer lining my eyes. I don't normally do any wing liner, mostly because I hate doing it. This is what the pen looks like. I'm going to open it, and it looks like it's got a flat edge on one side in the shape of a wing, of course, and then a pretty fine tip felt pen so you can go in and line the rest of your eye with. Oh, this thing has a bit of a smell to it. I don't know how to describe it. Almost like a Sharpie, but a little more putrid. <laughs> That's not a great description, but we'll roll with it. Okay, so let's see how I'm supposed to work this. Um, hmm. Okay, I'm gonna try to angle myself so you can see. I'm taking the flat edge of the liner brush and I'm gonna put that against the corner of my eye. Okay, looks like a little baby wing. Okay, I'm gonna roll with it for now. Let me finish the rest of my eye. It's not bad, but it's just a little baby wing and it was a little bit awkward holding the pen this way. Would have been easier if I could hold the pen this way to create the wing, you know what I mean? I found that the liner went on relatively easily. This is a pretty sturdy tip, so it doesn't have a lot of flexibility to it. So I found it tugged at my eye a little bit as you guys saw in the application, but it wasn't that bad. It's got nice pigmentation to it, it looks really black. I think we can roll with this. It's also not feathering out, which is also another really good sign. We're gonna try the other eye now using the same stamping techniques. Again, a little baby wing right there, but I think it kind of works. This is actually pretty cool. I really like this. I, I found it very easy to stamp it on and then line the rest of your eye, although I feel like I would use a different eyeliner to do the rest of my eye. This just feels a little too stiff, at least for my preference in eyeliners, but the baby wing comes out quite nice. I'm gonna finish off this eye look by adding a little bit of that dark purple shadow underneath my lower lash line. I'm gonna add a dark brown eyeliner in my waterline and since I can't quite do that with one hand I'm just going to do it off camera and be right back. I'm gonna finish off this look by adding a little bit of mascara. This is from Benefit Cosmetics. It's called the Their Real Mascara and there is the finished eye look. I think it looks really really good. I love how the wing turned out. I think I love everything about it honestly. Normally what I would do is add some false lashes to this look and be out the door, but because I am testing out this liner, I definitely don't wanna put a lash band on top of that. I wanna see how well this is gonna last throughout the day. I don't think I'm gonna do super frequent check-ins like I normally do with my wear tests. I'm probably just gonna check in once at the end of the night to see how well this makeup has worn, and we will go from there and I'll give you my final thoughts. So I will see you in just a second. So check it out, I'm at the grocery store and I see the Maybelline and Gigi Hadid collection here. Unbelievable, but also super expensive. Definitely not buying. And here is the display I was talking about where you've got the eyeshadow, 
those holographic eyeliners, which aren't really holographic. Um, and then just some other goodies down there, but I don't see the wing liner in this one. I also just found the new butter highlighters from Physicians Formula, how exciting. And there's another collection from Physicians Formula down here. And they're a liquid lipstick. I actually have one of these at home that I'm gonna be trying out soon. And here is another gondola from CoverGirl. They've got new matte lips, which I've picked up a couple to try, as well as some of these glitter top coats, which look interesting. And this side. So they've also got some new Healthy Vitalist concealers to go with their foundation, as well as powder. All right, guys, this is the first and final check-in of the day. We are looking at some new Rimmel products. Um, honestly, I had a pretty laid back day, had to do a little bit of grocery shopping, picked up some new items, which you're probably already gonna see inserted in this video. So I am gonna be playing around with some new makeup in the coming weeks, hopefully a little bit more over Christmas when I've got some more downtime. Um, I've also just been editing a video, as you guys can see right there on my kitchen table. So yeah, it's just been one of those really chill, Sundays. Let me zoom you in so you guys can see what's going on here. Um, the eyeshadow still looks pretty good, although there is a little bit of creasing happening, but that's not unusual for my hooded eyes. Um, but the eyeliner is holding out nicely. It doesn't look like it has feathered anywhere. The wing still looks like it's intact. Um, the only thing I will say is on this eye, I'm noticing that some of the liner has transferred a little bit to my crease area over here. But aside from that, everything is, whoops, <laughs> is looking pretty good. So honestly, all of these products right now, at least the liner and the eyeshadow palette are getting a thumbs up from me. Definitely recommend it. If you see it in the drugstore, pick it up. And that'll do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos and click that bell notification so that you do get notified every time I do upload a new video. Also be sure to give this video a big thumbs up to let me know that you enjoyed the review. Feel free to connect with me on all of my social media. I am on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. I'm going to link everything for you in the description box below. And that is it for me. I hope you are all having a wonderful day, evening, night, wherever you are in the world. Stay beautiful and I will see you soon. Bye guys.